What's up, you guys? This is Marcus with Epic Life Gaming, and I'm happy to be bringing you guys another Clash of Clans episode. So, I am uh, showing you guys my Town Hall 8. Sorry this isn't screen recording, so it isn't the best quality. Um, but I would recap our last war, and I am kind of showing off my clan war base. Uh, my last video got hundreds of views, um, and I'm just kind of showing you guys why this is the best clan war base to have. So somebody commented on that last video of my war defense base and saying hogs would absolutely destroy it. Well, funny to say, I just got attacked with hogs in the last war. And granted, I did get a two-star. He did two-star me. But, if you guys can see, I'm one, me and another guy are the only two bases to get two-starred on. This guy and this guy, me and Paul Fenn, are the only two guys. The top base, the two top bases got destroyed. And I got two-starred. And all these... Some of these other guys didn't get attacked. But I'm going to show you guys the replay. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I'll load that back up. I apologize. If you guys have noticed, Clan Wars has been a little buggy again. So I hope they fix that because we've been having to back out like we had to when they first came out with it. So I'll just get straight into it. We won this Clan War. We're now 12 wins, no losses, one tie. Alright, let's watch this re replay. So he gets my... Uh, Barbarian King noticed, pulls my clan troops. Let me turn that down a little bit. So he's going to keep pulling those guys. He's going to pull them away because he's going to drop his hogs up here where in my last video I said I get tacked a lot. So he's taking out all my my clan troops and my barbarian king with all those archers. Alright, now he's gonna drop all of his hogs right up here here in a second. Here he goes. Now they do do work to my base. I'm not gonna lie. They do do a lot of damage. But I'm only a Town Hall 8, not even a Town Hall 9, and he didn't even 3 star me with hogs. And he did exactly what he's supposed to with hogs. And all my, my spring traps flying in there. As soon as he gets in there, I got all four right in here. So, boom, take out another, quite a few of them. And his hogs aren't going to get much farther than that. Boom, all hogs are now gone. Big bomb blowing that guy up. He's dropped some minions down, which is actually perfect that he saved them for the end. Because he took down all my air defense. So this was actually a pretty smart attack for him. He did everything perfect. Now he's attacking me up here with wizards. So 
So now that his Barbarian King's down, this is all that's left. Now they're going to go after my Town Hall for that two-star. And look at this whole section is still left with defenses. This is why this is such a good base, you guys. There's no way you're going to three-star me. Boom. And there's all the troops. With four rage or heal spells, 23 hogs, 40, 46 archers, five wizards. Man, that seemed like a lot more than that. And those guys, it seemed like a lot more. He had a lot of archers. I don't believe that. So, all right. See the bugginess? Go back home. All right. I want to show you guys my replays because I three-starred two of the bases. So I wanted to show you guys my replays too. Sorry, I'm going to have to keep uploading and I guess I could cut away. If it does it again, I'll cut it away. All right. So I'll just show you uh, our war results. Whoops. So we, we 38 to 44 attacks used. We won 31, they won 34, but we only lost 7, they lost 10. We had 12 attacks remaining, they had 6. We had 14 3 stars, they only had 6. We had 3 2 stars, they had 11. 4 1 stars, they had 6. New stars per attack, 1.37. Average destruction, 88, almost 90%. And then average attack duration, best attack. Phantom, and that guy, whatever his name is, First Lurf, First Lur, F2, and Mikey, which is my best friend, actually. Um, he had the most heroic defense. Sweet, buddy, good job. All right, so now I'm going to go down to my attacks. And these are going to be all Dragon Raids. So... What I'm going to do is going to take out as many buildings as I can around the sides. So that way my dragons can focus on the air D's to take those out first. And what I do is I bring 9 dragons and 20 archers, a dragon in my clan castle, and 5 more archers. And 3 rage spells because I'm only at Town Hall 8. So I'm taking out all as many of these uh, side buildings as possible. Now I'm going to drop a couple more archers. Or my clan castle which has archers. Oh, and a, and a wizard. And that dragon which is going to take it out. I, oh yeah, I'm attacking up here too with my... Barbarian to take out some more of the, of the buildings. Set Rage My Dragons right in there. Boom. Do the same thing up here. See how they go right in? Well, they should have went right in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing up here. As soon as they get right there. Drop the raid spell and let him go to work on that air dude. Piece of cake. And that's going to be about it. I'll speed that up. And I always save five archers for the end, as you'll see right there, to spam them all. To help take out the last couple defenses, because the last war that we got a tie in, I didn't say I didn't listen to my cardinal rule. Ah, oh, all right, it's doing that. 
but I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. Um, I don't know if it's my internet. I really believe it's the.